Hey guys, welcome back to more Dando commentary. So today we have Madara. Hey guys, it's me again on yeah. your Bell's page. Yeah. 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 Your your uh, manga is over. Haha. <laughs> No. I know. <laughs> Come to an end. It's sad. Oh, Cliff Horse. Are you uh, freaking. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I need to see this deck anyway because I need to test. Remember the potency. This deck kind of fell off. Like, you know, in between the times that it's like reveal of the deck and like it's coming out in the TCG, it, it kind of like kind of dissipated. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Let's, so let's see if it's back at full strength. Yeah. I wonder what uh what variant he's using. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it's like pure sacrif. Yeah, sacrifice. And I wonder what uh Guarino's using. Yeah, uh, he just break this skill. I mean, yeah. That's why when <laughs> I was making my deck, I was trying to like balance out everything and trying to get the deck, you know, the uh, balance the four top decks. Yeah. You know? That's the that's the problem right now that the the meta is so divided between these decks. Wow. Oh, whoa! Scoop straight away. Damn, really? He must have had an ass hat hand. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm <laughs> gonna main deck uh bottomless because it's good against Cleaforts, but it's not good against the other face. Like, okay, it's like, fine. Then I side the bottomless. Like, you know, I'm just trying <laughs> to find the the balance of them. So if it's one particular card is good against like all four of them, then it's definitely I'm gonna main deck it and then. I have sides for each one of them. What's the picture in Sacrifice? Like, what's that monster? I don't. Even, I don't remember the the art. Oh, you didn't see it. I saw it, but I it's not something that I remembered. Okay. Uh, but, uh, definitely theories for uh, Klee puts have been going around, and uh, you know, in my opinion, Klee puts are scary because of their trap cards. Their trap cards are what what makes them scary. That breakthrough skill, though. <laughs> You know, uh, the, I mean the, that that skill drain. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the skill drain and the and the vanities. Cause that deck plays vanities the best. Like, mm. unbelievably, like stupid, like oh scraps. All right, good luck. Good luck. It should be interesting. Hmm. Yeah. And you know, cause Klee put since they're uh, pendulum monsters, and you know when they're destroyed, they go back to the extra deck. They never yeah. hit the graveyard until vanity stays. Damn. Yeah, so. And they can just drop down like 18 to 21 beaters and jump you with them. Fuck. So, so I've been trying to, de to debate what to side against uh, Klee put when, uh, when using Evil Swarm. So, of course, Evil Swarm, I'm going to make Ophion and I'm going to lock down your Pendulum Summon. So now what do I have to be afraid of? And, of course, what I have to be afraid of is... Um, Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon. That's a good take. Against what? Chimera Tech, oh, against, um, Keypots. No. No? They don't no. want to side deck it in? No, the, the, the problem with Chimera Tech is that to summon Chimera Tech, the monsters have to be sent to the graveyard. Kleeper monsters are dependent. They do not go to, uh, oh, the graveyard. Shit. So you can't even summon it, like, unless it's Killer. Killer's the only one you can get, but Killer's not even good right now. Like, that card's, like, what? 14 cents. Good for rare. What about, um, I forgot what it's called. What does System Down do? System down banishes them. Banishes From the grave or field? Grave and field for, for a thousand life points. Mm. That card's fine. But that. That card would be totally fine. But like I said, I, it might have been the scary thing about Cleepwood is their traps. So, you know, if I summon Ophion and I lock down the pendulum, what are they going to do? They're going to try to skill drain me or they're going to try to search with uh, with Scout Tool, get a monster, get the equip spell, sacrifice. Exactly put, and then try to equip it and then hold on to that monster because you know Ophion won't be able to attack it because it can't be destroyed by battle once per turn. Yeah. Is it once per turn or just period? I can't remember. I don't remember saying it, but I know it can't be destroyed by battle. And then next killer? Turn, yeah, no, killer. No, no, the, the equip spell. Exactly. Oh, no, that's full on. It's fully full on, like... full on can't be destroyed by battle? Yeah. Alright. So, but you know what would stop the Clifforts? Anti spell fragrance. Yeah, that would just lock it down. But the, the, the thing with anti-spell fragments in my deck, of course, Evil Swarm, is that I don't need to lock down their pendulum summons to do anti-spell fragments because I have Ophion. So I'm yeah. trying to address all the other problems, which, of course, is that Sackley Fort. And uh, there it is. Told you, Vanities. Uh, Sackley Fort and uh, Skill Drain. So I'm main decking the triple MSTs, of course, because uh, I want to free some room. Because I don't need the MSTs in Evil Swarms, but I try to free up, uh, you know, the space 
in the deck. Oh, chat. Wow. That was. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I know. All right. Yeah. So I'm trying to uh, free up the room in my side deck. So I'm main decking the MSTs. And then by side, and then my side for Clifford's, because I've main decked Triple Chalice. So of course I'm going to check out Chalice, because what the fuck is Chalice going to do against Cleaflet? So I take that out. <laughs> <laughs> like help them like the, exactly what he just did help them so take out the chalice and then i'm gonna put in twister yeah because i know uh, people, yeah. are, people are talking about you know putting like um like spell shattering arrow and stuff like that the problem with spell shattering arrow it only pops the spell cards and it would only pop the pendulum monsters that's not my problem my problem is definitely their uh their trap cards you know that skill drain skill drain would just lock me down hard Fucking skill drain ruins it, man. Skill drain is dumb. Like if skill drain, skill drain needs to be hit. Like this, this is the time that Kami yeah, should definitely. realize. Like, hey, this card is dumb. Wow, he beat it. He beat Clifford. <laughs> he beat them. I'm so just they'll hit the uh, they'll hit the soul drain, but not the skill drain. Yeah, <laughs> that's bollocks. Because because skill drain uh hurt decks last a lot longer than uh soul drain decks. That's one each. Uh, Damn, these around. guys are pros. <laughs> What are you guys doing up? It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. What are they thinking with us in the watches? They're probably like, who are these two? <laughs> watching your pro duel. still. What? Glad Master Muzz. I'm actually working on the Glad Beast deck. Because there's a lot of talk saying that once Bestiari's banished, Glads are done. You know, like the deck is done. So I built a macro glad deck. I'm still working on it. Still working on it. It's pretty good so far, though. You and your crazy experiments. <laughs> it works, though. It works. <laughs> you Check out that. my channel, guys, to see some crazy decks. Yeah, like will be in the description. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, more commentary. No, but you can come to the door. Did he just put freaking two scouts? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why? He's probably gonna normal summon trampo links and return one. Damn, this is so expensive. <laughs> Okay, equip it with that. Uh, okay, 300 shot, can't be sure the battle is treated as tri two tributes to discard some. That, they, that good card's so fucking good. Like, what, why'd they do that? I know. And, like, their attack is not enough for them to, like, not be able to attack over. <laughs> they got 2400, man. Mm -hmm. Why would you give them something that makes them indestructible? 21 right now. Because if it's uh, normal summon, he's reduced to 18, then equip. 21. Right. So, I wonder if that's like Vanity's face down or something. Maybe Skill Drain. He had Van he got Vanity's last though, he just kinda messed up with it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my elbow. Clicking my elbow. I know, I'd say he's not the best Cleepwit player, but, yeah. Yeah, at the moment he can't, uh, pendulum. Yeah, like, why would you do that? Why would you put two scallops like that? You can't even pendulum summon. Oh. Like, Konami finally gives you a good pendulum deck, and you're just like, no, nah, I'm good. Much better than, uh, Hermit Yokai when it comes to pendulum. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like penduluming and... Hermit yokai, it's not worth it. <laughs> Those yokai's, they're the ones that return to hand, yeah? Yeah. I've never uh, used them before or seen a good build with them. Uh, I, I've been trying. They're not that good. Yeah. Especially since you really can't run any other monsters with the bet because they have their counter trap card that says you can only play it if you have Hermit yokai monsters on the field and no other monsters. Yeah. Yeah, so... Despite them being beast, majority being beast warrior, you don't want to throw bear in there. So, I've been running like the level fives and uh, putting like uh, stuff that allowed me to summon like a token, so I could tribute to summon them. 
Uh, it's been working okay, but it's still not the best of decks. <laughs> I really don't see that deck ever being too top tier. Ooh, oh, on Chal the golem. Yeah, Chalice. See, that's another thing that makes that deck really good. You know, Chalice, the, the skill drain, the vanities. That That's what makes the deck scary. Oh, yeah. Very intimidating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Sacrifice. Yeah, what is that monster? I have no idea. It looks like its face is face down on the ground, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Sacrifice. Like, he's like, screw it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pendant this. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him without pendant something. What the fuck? All right, never the mind. The field spell. The field what? Spell. Alright. Tribute. Oh, shit. Tribute Here comes the other two. It's a tribute for expensive ass disc. Look at that price. <laughs> I hate how they have a fix when they're tributed too. That's mm -hmm. just bullshit. Yeah, no. <laughs> Carrier effect was he return a card to the hand and then. Disc effect, he's gonna summon two from the deck, and then exactly for effect, he's gonna search from his deck, like... He's just going ham. Hey, that's another thing that sucks about exactly Fife. You wanna kill it, because, of course, you don't want the monster to not be sure about battle, because you need to take it out so they don't tribute, but then, of course, when you pop it, they're gonna get to search, and it's just... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Oh, great. So doesn't he get an additional normal summon? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, don't do it. Don't <laughs> summon him. <laughs> you summon him, that's game. It definitely is. <laughs> He's unaffected by everything. How do you get over it? Yep. <laughs> Fuck. Man, come on, man, don't do it. At least get, at least wine and dine. Guernio, before you fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Tribute in the... That yeah, sucks, Tribute dude. his monster. Somebody, another Cleepwood monster. Wow, and Monarch Stormforth. They run that shit, too. Damn. Oh, my God. The deck. Deck. Absolute bollocks. Yep. Oh, that's probably Oh, another... and another two. Is that right? Another two? Yeah. Wow. Is this effect once per turn? Or no? No. I don't know why he's not using the helix effect. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. Okay. He didn't use the last one. Oh, Damn. shit. Damn! Oh, shit. Alright, well, that's probably how they're gonna beat me using Evil Swarm. So I'll make Ophion. They'll just be like, Monarch Storm for what should be your Ophion summon, uh, uh, one of my monsters. And that's why I keep the Pandemics in, so I can make Ophion unaffected by your Monarch Storm for Damn, hard luck, Guarino. Damn. You did so well in the second duel on this guy. That one chalice stopped you, and he just went ham and whooped your ass. Damn. Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god, that deck. Such um, bull. Uh huh. I'm looking forward to seeing that deck. Alright, we're at like 14 minutes. Shall we call an episode or should we get one more duel in? One more, one more, one more. <laughs> Alright, we'll get one more single duel in and then we'll call an episode and we'll do All right. uh, Sundays. Alright, well, bear back. Alright, I'm recording. Alright. Yeah, Miss I got, Mr. I got taken over. My body took it over. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, like that, what, though? What the hell is he... Okay, first of all, they have really weird names. Yeah, they do. It's Kyber and Blue Eyes, though. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you betray me? <laughs> <laughs> he can't control his monster anymore. <laughs> the Consecrated Light. How do you know you're going up against a dark deck? If you're going against the dark deck, that would just be hilarious, because this is actually, like, the first duel, so. <laughs> using a wind dash type deck. Damn it. <laughs> Must be anti-meta. 
Oh, he's in luck though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 Bloody Squamata. Yep. Yeah. That's why I run Triple Chalice in my Evil Storm. Oh. <laughs> so he gets the second effect, right? Yeah, because you, you kind of didn't get to declare it because it was negated. Shout out to Stuff Sounds he isn't here right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. from your hand. I guess he didn't know that he gets Squamata effect. Right. Oh, dragon and beast. Yep. Wind uh, Winda. Dragon, beast. Oh, this guy's playing some sort. He's main deck in those imprisoning. <laughs> main deck in mirrors. Why? Oh my god, this guy's like anti meta as fuck. <laughs> he said, no, nobody plays anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna summon a shine ball, play light in prison mirror, and poke the shit at you. Oh, that D prison, though. D prison's so good, too. Definitely. Like, gets over bills, gets over just any problem card. Mm hmm. Except for Killer. Yeah. <laughs> that's bollocks. <laughs> How do you defeat something that's unaffected by everything? Uh, you can copycat him. You, you can? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, his copycat's not affecting the monster, you're just copying his attack and just run into him. Or you could use, um... That beast, that, uh, you know the beast, the samurai, I don't know what it's called. No. You know the one I'm talking about? No. The, the rank 2 XYZ. Rank 2 X, oh yeah. Totally forgot his name. I bet you would still lose that 500 attack because the token would be special summoned. Oh uh, so yeah, still right. Weaker. <laughs> you can fortress him, but him and only him. What the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck with these consecrated lights? <laughs> How do you keep giving them on? This is so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. There's like nothing in this guy's deck. He can only use that Shadol that- Oh, he can use Mathematician. Oh! Wait, why did you do that? You literally- why did you, get a you literally could've just flipped up Goal Up Bulb and then attacked over the consecrated light. <laughs> so- Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Oh, I guess that's how you want to do it. Summon it back. Is that El Shadal oh, like, Fusion? Yeah. Okay. Why do you need to run El Shadal Fusion? When Shadal Fusion is still better. El Shadal's a quick play. I guess. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Damn, this guy. This guy. The anti meta is real. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if he's got hands in there. Fire hand and ice hand. This guy's just being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you can flip up that beast, but you're gonna have to banish the card that you discard, so is it worth it? Well, I guess you can flip it up and then attack over the banisher, so I'd, I'd, I'd go for it. And being two cards ahead. Oh, Insta Fusion. Okay. What? I know. Like, what? Yep. Oh, what? I don't know you could do that. Yep. Yes, you can. Wow. Damn. I've never seen anyone do that before, to be honest. Oh. That comes in handy. It can't attack, though. Yeah, I can't attack though. <laughs> Holy shit, it can't be destroyed. That's cool. Have you seen this before? I feel like a noob right now. <laughs> I've never seen Shadow players do it, but they should. I mean, locking it down with a window is not too terrible. 
This is main phase two. Like that, that window could just come in handy. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Just instant speed from the window and then just lock it down. That's, that's, yeah. That's good. That's just cool. leave it in the attack mode, yeah. Oh, you can't attack? Oh, well, yeah. You can't attack with it, but still. Good. Seriously, dude? No. Oh, he wants to be Rorschach, okay. I would? Like, no. <laughs> yeah, so would I, so would I, but still. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's rubbing it in That's right destroyed. now. Please, no more cheating attempts. Oh, yeah, it is destroyed. It is destroyed, because it's by your opponent's car facts. Oh... What, you have no rank 5s in there? You could have succeeded those two. You literally could have just succeeded those two, and then... What? <laughs> What's this say? When this card is sent to the graveyard? If this card is sent to the graveyard, yeah, you could have detached the window. Yeah. <laughs> Learn how to play. I how. <laughs> Damn, he told him. Damn, the fucking anti-meta over here is real shocking the shit out. <laughs> oh, no. Telling him. This muffle's been in the game for ages. Look at that XP. Mm. Wow. Pop that trap trap. Why trap 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 on my car's not even good right now. Especially because it's not a counter trap. That sucks. <sighs> Maybe they should be running space time. <laughs> Do you have Ribena in America? Do we have what? Ribena. Ribena? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, it is true. You guys don't have Ribena. I don't know what that is. It's a, yeah, it's like Kool Aid, but it's much better. Nope, no. no. <laughs> but we do have America here, so. Yeah. America. <laughs> the fuck is America? Fuck yeah, it's the best. Uh, America. <laughs> All right, that's it. It's the best. That's what we got. What Up the fuck with him and Beast? Like, send fucking Falco already. Up dog is way better than uh than America. What's so good about Australia? You guys have so many killer things and diseases and just uh Dude, you guys have Ebola. What are you on about? That's Whatever. like we can, we're, that's we're handling like... it. We're handling it. We got this. <laughs> oh yeah. Last I heard, somebody came back from the dead. Hell yeah. <laughs> Only in America. <laughs> that Don King shit. Wow. All right, give him his mathematician back. No. <sighs> oh. so. Oh, bouncing everything back. Wait, why do you take... Wait, why do you take 15? You don't take any damage. That was dumb. That was dumb. How are you going to rule shock him when you're fucking up? <laughs> like, really? Read your cards. <laughs> He's like, learn how to play. <laughs> um. Bounce all those monsters back. You take 900. Oh, do they go to the hand, do they? Yeah, they go to the hand. Where do you thought they went? Dick. That'd be broke. Oh, well. That'd be broke as fuck. I never, uh, I never read cards these days. <laughs> that would be so fucking broken. Matayon is broken, though. I mean, he, he's good, but he's not, like, game-shattering broken. He just kind of uh, lets you get back into the duels when, you know, if he was just, like, return him back to the deck, your opponent would be nagging so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they nag so hard from Rageki, though. <laughs> hey, at least the monsters go to the graveyard. Going back to the deck is the worst place you can send something in Yu-Gi-Oh. You reckon? Yeah, worst place. 
<laughs> they need to make a new zone, like a like a like a banish zone, but like a different banish zone. Then, like a, shit, they need to make the fucking banish zone. Like it's never like on zone. any. It's never on any fucking mats. Yeah, like look how yeah, they fucking good, jimmied like, it on here. Like it looks stupid. Like just send it out. Like it's gone. Like off the mat. Like they should have a place off the mat. And they should call it the OTF zone. The off the uh, OTM zone. Off the mat I zone. Think, I think they should make the zone called uh, "Rip Your Shit in Half" zone. So <laughs> I send your monster to the zone, and I pick it up and I rip it in half. <laughs> oh. Alright. Oh, right, so, 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 so how do you how do you how do you take out killer? How do you kill killer? How would I kill killer? Yeah. I would um, normal summon obelisk. Oh, okay. You know how I kill killer? How would you kill killer? I rip it in half. <laughs> <laughs> you rip it in half. Huh? It's unaffected by my rip. My level's not high enough to affect killer. <laughs> <laughs> Is this still the first duel? Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, Mr. Anti Meta Man, what you gonna do? <laughs> What is up with him and Beast? I swear to God, like he loves fucking Beast. He's used up. That's his third. That's the second one still. Just got returned. He has one banished. He has one in the graveyard. And he has one right there on the field. So he must have a fader or a skicker or something. He must have something. There's no way he's just gonna kill to do it like that. Okay. He's beast. And mathematician. Oh, he's going for that one. For Shiki Naga. Oh shit. Ouch. It's Niki Naga. What is um? Did you know the sh the shadows are like just normal cards that just got affected with some virus? Yeah. I have no idea the story. I think so. Yeah, they all represent something, but I don't know what uh what Shiki Naga represents. Killer. Oh, yeah! You don't see yeah. killer in the background, and it's pretty, yeah. and then that's uh, construct right there in the middle. What about um beast? What's beast? I don't know. Some beast monster? I don't know. <laughs> monster, I guess. Some monster, How I is don't beast know. a spellcaster? They're all spellcasters, except for the I features. I caught it. I caught it. He had a swift. You were just messing with a bottle or something, like. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> so how long can he hold out? How many Swiss scarecrows and battle faders does he have? Damn, look at Niki Naga's ass. You love that fat ass. Where? That defense. Oh. I was literally looking at her card up, no. trying to find her ass. No. <laughs> We're not that perverted in Yu-Gi-Oh! No, we mean <laughs> ass, we mean the monster's defense. <laughs> not that, we're not that perverted. <laughs> Looks like Dark Magician Girl's card out. I am, Damn. I am. I'm not into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nah, I'm not either. I do this um thing where I, I put in my dual note, the loser has to share their biggest secret. <laughs> and there's one dude I beat, he said that he likes to watch hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Good for you, man. <laughs> like, damn, dude, you get off on that? that? That's mental. That's game. That's game. If you're smart, that's game. Yeah, only only one hedgehog per turn, fool. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, that should be. If you're smart... This should be game, because you have a level 2 tuner and a level 3 monster. They have 4 synchro summon into... Yeah, I'm 80s. Yep, and pop, game. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Come on. No, I know you can do it. Jeez, this guy's so mean, though. He's so hostile. Oh, yeah, I'm completely the same. I hate meta decks as well. Yep. Alright. Should have made him 80s. 
Should have made our mateys. You could have just the <laughs> one. Nigga, I am going to fucking get on a plane and fucking go to your house and beat you with a fucking bottle if you don't <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, can you hear that? Are you talking to me? Oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'll see oh. you. Oh. That, one, that 100 damage, though. Oh, never mind. Should I? Yeah. Oh, damn. That, that's a deep prison face down. Yep. You could have ended this door. <clears throat> just summon a monster, attack, try to attack over the banisher, and then just attack with one death. That's all you need to do. I have to play it on one of the two. I'm so mad. He could have had this door ended if he just went in our mateys. <laughs> Deep prison? Wow. Oh, right. you won. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Alright. Yep, so that's it for this episode. Beautiful. All done. Yep. So, uh, thank you, my bro, for joining me. Oh, good, my bro. Alright, so his link will be in the description. Go over to his channel. He does some crazy shit with you, Gil. Yeah. He doesn't do meta. <laughs> <laughs> right. He made ice barriers good. That's how you, that's what you want to go down in history on YouTube, ass. <laughs> Show bringing them back to life Show that's the one <laughs> yeah no shit that guy hates them <laughs> alright so I hope that you guys enjoyed so thanks for watching thanks for all the support and we'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode thanks for watching